Mary, what is this garment? Well, it's the sort of garment we don't really see so much this day, unless you're possibly a fisherman or long distance sailor. Uh, but it's combinations. Right. So it goes literally from the top to the bottom, and it's vest and knickers in combination. And this is an example from a particularly famous firm, Jaeger, who were renowned for their woolen underwear. Um, George Bernard Shaw was a great protagonist of woolen underwear. And um, this is a wartime example. Mm. So we can see the label really clearly there, but I'm guessing these are women's combinations, is that right? Well, I think so, partly because of the curvy shape, but also there is a little W down here. Mm. And I think this, this bow is meant to be a little feminine touch mm. as well. Now this is a really clear utility mark, isn't it? Yes, it's stamped on, and because these combinations have never been used, they've still got the shop tag on them, then obviously it's never been washed or worn, so it's just as it was when it was made. Wow, I can't believe that even nappies were within the utility scheme. It's amazing. And here's the label to prove it. Well, this infant's petticoat looks as if it's been well worn. I mean, even the label looks as if it's faded, um, as if it's been washed a number of times. But interestingly, I see there's a, a tuck uh, at the bottom on this garment, and you'd think, well, that's wasting fabric. Well, possibly it was intended to allow you to let the petticoat down because you could unstitch the seam and release the tuck and make the petticoat longer as, as the child grew. Um, that obviously hasn't happened in this case, and tucks were decorative, but they, they did also yes. have a, that function as well. That's great. So even gloves were in the utility scheme? Yes, and you can see here that this is a smaller, slightly crumpled version of the CC41 label. But what makes these gloves utility is that they're not leather, they're a fibre, probably rayon. So not using leather, which was the material that was needed for the war effort. Right. And they're also much simpler construction because of the way they've been made. They've not got complicated gussets or inserts. Just a very simple shaping with a little bit of elastic at the ah, wrist, yes. just there. I can see where. Um, an elastic in itself became a very precious commodity during the war. I can't believe we're finding this utility mark on so many different garments, different types of garments. Mm. I mean, we have a pair of socks here that obviously look as if they've never been used. Yeah, and the nice thing about these socks is that it shows that the utility scheme was focusing on economy, but also sustainability, so that we've got the hard wearing parts of the um, object the heel and the toe are made from a different material um, than the rest of the sock. So we've got a cotton or a cotton blend here uh, and the rest of the sock is made from uh, man-made fibres, possibly rayon. Now here we have a fantastic pair of utility knickers. Yes, and let me read you the letter that the museum was sent by the um, person who generously donated them to the museum. Uh, having seen your plea for passion killers in the Daily Mirror dated the 4th of March, I was pleased to tell you that my wife, who works as a volunteer in our local charity shop, has found you a pair complete with utility mark. As an ex-serviceman, I recall these garments worn by service women being fondly referred to as Messerschmitts in the mistaken belief that they came down without much of a fight. We have another pair of navy blue knickers here and these have quite a different story. These came in a big donation of the all identical knickers from the York Area Education Office and presumably they were used for PE for the pupils in the schools. And we can see that the label's nice and clear here because these knickers haven't been used so they've not been washed. And here we can see that the utility scheme even affected things like the scouts because we have a really good example of a scout shirt here with the clear utility symbol in the neck. And here we can see that the, the utility symbol is combined with the scouts label here, Imperial Headquarters. Now we've got what looks like a pair of gentlemen's cords here. Mary. Yeah, very sturdy corduroy fabric. And chosen to be long lasting and they clearly have been worn and <laughs> worn well um, and 
we've got the little utility sign here on the inside on the pocket bag mm. flat fronted aren't they absolutely no pleats here so they're economical in terms of the the construction mm. and the pocket the size of the pockets themselves is a little bit smaller than you would normally have expected. So you've got those little invisible economies right. of material, yes. which really show that this is the utility piece. And on that same theme, we've got trousers here with no turn-ups, so being economical with the material again there. 